Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Cosmo from Cosmo's Q, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make Texas brisket easier than you ever knew. We're gonna trim, rub, smoke, the whole nine yards, packed full of tips and tricks. You're not gonna wanna miss this video. Let's get to cooking. All right, so the brisket we are running today is a prime brisket. Um, actually got this at a really good price, $3.49 a pound. And the trim we're gonna do on it is just a basic Texas trim. I like to give it a nice little rub down. Get that excess blood off there. All right, so let's see what we got. First, start with a sharp knife. I am going to be making some tallow. So I'll be loading my extra fat up over here. Now, when you're trimming a brisket, you wanna make sure in a stick burner, you're gonna want aerodynamics. So like I said, do not throw this stuff away. Perfect for hamburgers, tallow. Like I said, we're not gonna go crazy with it, but we are going to go fat side down. So I'm not gonna be too worried about what I leave here on the top. There's a little bit of fat here that I just don't like that. <clears throat> this part right here, this is the kernel. It's very hard, but on a traditional Texas brisket, you leave that on there. And you can also see this, this kind of rough end where it's brown. What this is from is when they split the carcass in half, they spray it with hot water. That's where you get that. So we're just gonna cut that right off. Once again, perfect for burgers. Any kind of grind, save it. And then just start rounding your corners. Pro tip, if you really wanna round these top edges, use scissors. I'm not gonna worry about that here because it's not that important uh, with a backyard brisket, but in competition, that's what we would do. This guy over here, we got a big hunk right here, so let's take that down. This side looks pretty good. A Little bit extra up here for me, but now the fun side. As you can see, they scalded the bottom off of this one. So let's just trim it up. Now this fat right here, it's just very rubbery. So I'm gonna take all that off. Well, they got this one good too. But they did do a good job right through here. It's pretty much a quarter inch all the way across. But let me show you this side. As you can tell right there, I don't like that piece either. Let's just go ahead and take that off. Expose that a little bit more. More burger grind. I don't know, they did a pretty good job. It's a little thick right here. Let me trim that back just a hair. I try not to scalp it, uh, but sometimes it's inevitable. Now I start with my aerodynamics. We're gonna go fat side up, so you can afford to put extra rub up here and this will help protect this. This is the part you don't wanna sleep on. If you, if you got a little piece like this, don't pull away and try to cut. Always pull it back towards your knife and then slice. This helps with not scalding it. Fat feels really good. This is gonna be a good brisket right here. All right, so we are gonna use a binder on this. I'm just gonna use regular yellow French mustard and we're not gonna get crazy with it. Let's flip it over. A Little bit of mustard. Like I said, nothing crazy. Just a nice light coat. And then we're gonna go down with cow cover. Now this bottom, you don't have to get crazy on it. You can if you want. Give it a nice pat in, hit this side. Cooking competitions, years ago we would cook outside and you would have to, here in Oklahoma, you would have to learn to play the wind. And SPG, I'm not gonna be shy here. This brisket's gonna take all this. All right, she looks good there. Now, let's flip her over and do it. One more time.
All right, we got the L Ray running in the background. We're gonna go work that fire, make sure it's just right. That will give this brisket time to sweat. Probably won't take long with the weather we're having, nice and humid, 10, 15 minutes. All right, so we have our L Ray running just a tad bit over 300 degrees. The reason why, first of all, we want to heat up the pit. We want to make sure we have an even, consistent temperature from front to back. The other reason is, is when you put your brisket on a little bit hotter at 300, 300 plus, usually around 350 for competition, it will plumpen it up. So we are going to run this cooker at 225 all night long. It's not going to hurt anything to have this brisket on here at 300. We're going to be bringing that temperature down and then feeding that wood as needed. All right, so she sweated out enough for me. It's time to get her on the pit and put this baby to bed. All right, so you're probably wondering why I use this big pan for not a lot of fat. There's a reason, and here it is. I got my brisket right here. The heat is coming this way. I'm gonna position this right there. Make sure you do not touch the probe. This is gonna act as a block or a shield for the brisket, kinda let the air travel over it. All right, so we got our brisket on the L Ray. We are running Chigger Creek Pecan on here. The thing I love about these is they come in a box already cut to length, about the, about the size of your forearm. They're nice, they're small. Rarely do they have bark, these light quick. And the great thing about them is, is these are hardwood, the center of the log. So this thing is crazy efficient. I'm talking a log every 45 minutes to hour and a half, depending on the weather outside, how hard it's blowing, how cold it is, how hot it is. But the L Ray, hey, rest assured, she's gonna run like a champ. I'll see you in the morning. All right, so it's 6.30 a.m. It was a cold night. I got my coffee. I got our beef tallow. And now we're just gonna get this sucker wrapped. Now I'm just gonna go light with this. And I'm mainly focusing on the dry points first. And then we'll get her wrapped. This is the fun part. We're using butcher paper on this. And I just like butcher paper for briskets that I'm eating personally, but you do whatever. Woo -wee. Shout out to the 24 inch wide Cosmos butcher paper. This makes wrapping way easier than the 18 inch. Flip it once. Now, it's upside down. Make sure you get it tight. And then we're gonna flip it again. Boom, just like that. Now, we're gonna crank the pit up to 250 degrees, get it back on there. She's gonna be done about, I'm shooting for, it's, it's been so long of a cook, it's going to be about 198 to 202, depending on the brisket. So, hey, make sure you stick around for this because I'm going to show you how I probe for tenderness. And this is the secret to all barbecue because you're not going to want to cook all night and screw this part up. You gotta understand that it, it can hold onto the paper. You don't wanna do that. So you just wanna make sure that, like, how much pull do you got there? That feels really good. I'm gonna call it, that one's done. Woo, she smells beautiful. 
Now this next step, you do not want to skip this. This is probably the most important step when it comes to cooking a brisket. Now, if you ever want to know how those restaurants get that brisket, just butter from end to end, this is how. Wrap it in saran wrap. I also have some plastic bags that I can use that work well. But this is very important. Wrap it one more time the other way. Now we let it rest. So <clears throat> while we were waiting for this brisket to finish, we went on ahead, finished our beef tallow, pulled it off, let it cool down a little bit, strain it, put it in a mason jar, bam, homemade beef tallow. Didn't cost you a penny outside of the brisket, but you know, you're eating it anyways. Normally this stuff goes in the trash, but look at that. Almost looks like moonshine. All right, so I'm just gonna let this set in an oven. This oven is not on, it's cold. Let it rest for an hour, be perfect later. All right, so here it is, right at 14 hours later, we pulled it, let it rest, and now it's time. This freaking smells amazing. I gotta tell you, this brisket freaking smells amazing. And look at those slices. That is what I am talking about right there. Steam coming off of them. A little bit of fat. Oh. That's so good, I'm gonna have to get another bite. So hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. I promise you, you need to make this brisket. Head on over to Cosmos Q, print the recipe off, make it for you and your people, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.